afternoon, I'm Abby Moseman. And I'm Megan McNeil. And today, we're going to be making clay. <laughs> Alright, so, for some safety tips, iodine is poisonous, so don't get it near your mouth or eyes, and it may stain your clothes or skin, so wear your handy dandy aprons that we got on. And wear safety goggles for the entire time you're using iodine, but you don't have to use it while you're just making the clay. And if your hair is long, make sure you put it up. And <clears throat> do not eat the clay, even if it looks scrumptious. And here's the materials that we're going to be using. So we're going to use a little magnifying glass to inspect our material, and some eyedroppers when we use the iodine, some handy dandy little pot holders so you don't burn yourself. Those were homemade. A measuring cup, measuring spoons, a nice big pot to cook your, uh, your clay in, some flour, some cream of tartar, salt, aluminum foil, and cooking oil. Yes. Now, your first step will be to tear off uh, about 12 inches of foil, and it doesn't really have to be a specific amount though, it's just to uh, put your samples of clay on, like so. And then you will make your clay. And you will start off your first sample by having, or by putting one cup of flour in it, a cup of salt, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, two tablespoons of cooking oil, three-fourths cup of water. And your second sample, and we'll change it up a little bit, one cup of flour and then just half a cup of salt, and two teaspoons of cream of tartar, two tablespoons of cooking oil, and three-fourths cup of water. And don't, don't stir it yet, because you're going to observe it, and then write those down, and then stir. And then you'll cook your ingredients for about three minutes over medium heat, or until the clay starts to thicken. Um, but do not let it stick to the pot or overcook. And then, once you have your two samples, they should look like this, which this, this is the first one with the most salt in it, and it was cooked for a little bit longer also, so that's why it looks so much different than that one. And then this is our second one. Yeah. And then, you get to observe them. And I'd say that this one should be a little more cracked. Anyways, then... Take your little handy dandy eyedropper here, and you'll take your iodine, which we don't have because it's dangerous, we can't use it here, but you'll take it and you put it in your clay, and then you observe your clay after four days. Yep, that's our experiment. And I hope you enjoyed doing the experiment just as much as we had. Yay!